Hi Internet, today I'm happy to announce a new release of Kandu, the cross-platform Pi menu which I'm currently developing. And this new version comes with at least three really cool new features, which I want to show you in this short video. Alright, let's get started. So the first addition are menu conditions. So the same hotkey can now open different menus depending on which application currently has focused. And to use this new feature, just enter the menu editor and you will see there's a new point here on the right hand side called menu conditions. And if you click on that button, you can see that you can now choose to show a menu only if a specific application has input focus, if a window with a specific title is currently shown, or if your mouse pointer is in a specific region on your screen. So I think let's try this once. Let's assume we have here two windows open, a calculator and let's say Visual Studio Code. And now I want to have a different menu for VS Code than for all my other applications. So my default menu is this one here and let's create a new one for VS Code. All right, to do this, we create a new menu. Let's call this VS Code. Uh, we can also have a cool um, VS Code icon here. Let's choose this one. And we will also bind this to the same hotkey as my main menu, control space in this case. And we want to limit it to a specific application. And you can use this button to directly insert here the name of the app which had input focus when you opened can do. All right, and that's it already. So if I'm now here in VS Code and press my hotkey, this empty menu will open. And if I have another application in focus, the default menu will open. All right, that's it. And I think that's already a pretty powerful feature. Um, and I can now use this empty menu here to show you the next cool feature, and that is keyboard macros. So there's a new item type down here, which you can add to your menus called simulate macro. It simulates basically an arbitrary sequence of keyboard keys, which you press. For instance, let's create a item here, which types hello world. We will execute it delayed so that the can do window does not block the um, input events here. And let's record the buttons. So I will just type hello world on my keyboard here. Now I'm done. And as you can see, this list now filled up with all the key events, which this item should simulate. Okay, let's try this. I will go maybe here and then execute this one and oh, hello world, it's been typed there. Yeah, you can of course use this to, to type text, but you can also use it to control your applications. So for instance, here in VS Code, we have the view menu, which has here an open view. And let's try to, to um, activate this. So I have to press Alt V to open that thingy here, then one arrow down to go to open view and then return. Okay, let's simulate this. We have another macro down here. Um, call it open view chooser, execute delayed again. And okay, Alt V, release those keys, arrow down, return. And we are done. So let's try this. Suck. And there we are. And yeah, you can use this to do basically anything you want in any application. It's a really, a really powerful feature. And last but not least, we now have single key turbo mode. Um, what this is, uh, I will show you now. So turbo mode in Kandu is a very powerful feature. Um, let's use my default menu here. Usually um, you can simply click somewhere to activate an item. Uh, you can also drag an item to activate it, but you can also not press any mouse button, but just leave, for instance, if I open this menu here with control space, just leave control pressed on your keyboard. And if you then move your mouse around, the menu will behave as if your left mouse button was pressed. And once you release the control key, the active item will be selected. So I did not press any mouse button here in this interaction. And this is extremely fast. But this used to work only for shortcuts which involved the modifier keys such as Control, Alt, and Shift. 
And that's a pity because you can actually open menus with a single um, key. So for instance, I can bind this one here to F4, let's say. So, and if I now press F4, the menu shows up, but I cannot enter this turbo mode because I don't have Control, Shift or Alt pressed while opening, opening the menu. And now that's new in this version that I can keep this F4 key pressed and the menu will just behave as if it was in turbo mode before, which is pretty nice. And especially if you used some third party applications, for instance, to bind Kandu to your mouse buttons, um, this will come in very, very handy. All right, I hope you like these new updates and there will be more updates coming. I have plenty of cool new features on the roadmap. I think the next thing I will do are some tutorial videos to get you started on different platforms. But anyways, that's it for now. Join our Discord server to get help and to show off the cool things you are doing with Kandu. You can also support and follow any further development of the project on my Kofi page. The link, also the link to the Discord server, is down there in the description. And yeah, that's it for now. See you next time. Bye.